Hello everybody, we've got another old Polaroid for this week's camera. This is the Spectra AF. They originally introduced the Spectra series in 1986. Uh, the copyright in the manual for this one says 1994. They had a lot of different models of this and they made them for quite a while. Um, going along the front here, this is the Sonar Autofocus. Ten steps from two feet to infinity. The taking lens, photo cell, the uh, viewfinder lens, there's a little flasher in there for uh, when you're using the self timer, the built in flash. The lens, they call it a Quintic, but it's a three element uh, 125 millimeter lens. Uh, it's about equivalent to a 46 millimeter on a 35 millimeter camera. It's F10 to F45, so it's not real bright. That's why these, like the 600 series, used an ISO uh, 600 uh, film. The shutter button on the top and on the back, starting over here, feet and meters, uh, and then the uh, whether it makes a sound or not for your feedback, self timer. Autofocus on and off. With autofocus off, it's only good for 15 feet out to infinity. Uh, flash off. This slider lets you darken or lighten your images so you can kind of fine tune it at the cost of taking test shots. Um, there's a light that flashes here, lets you know that the flash is charging or when it's solid, you're good to go. This is the frame counter. The original packs used uh, 10 prints uh, per pack. The Impossible Project is only 8. Um, that's about all I could think of. Oh, in the viewfinder, uh, it had some kind of idiot lights. If you had a green light and a number, the green light meant the exposure was good. The number was how far away you are from your subject. A uh, yellow light and a 1 means you're too close. Yellow light in another series of numbers uh, tells you you're too far away for flash. Um, that's pretty much it. It was designed to be really easy to use. So I'll finish out the roll and I'll see you then.